Hi guys, it's Nicole and today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful high-end looking candles using items from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, are the jar candles from good old Dollar Tree. These have been um, used a lot here lately on YouTube. Um, I just put them in a big stock pot and melt them down slowly. Uh, here is one of the dough bowls that I'm going to be using. Uh, I got these from Hobby Lobby when they marked down their spring and summer stuff um, on clearance. And here I'm just recycling the wicks from the jar candles. I'm adding a dab of hot glue to the bottom of the wick to secure it in place so that it doesn't move when I pour the wax. With this particular size, you're going to need two in order for the candle to burn evenly. Um, you just kind of have to gauge, you know, the size of your bowl as to how many wicks you're going to need. Okay, after I secured them in the bottom of the bowl with the glue, I'm going to take a straw, but you could use a chopstick, um, a skewer, or a pen, pencil, whatever is long enough to go across the top of your uh, bowl that you're using or the container that you're going to make your candle in. So I figured these straws would be perfect for that. And I'm just wrapping it around the straw so they'll, that they'll the wick will be straight once I pour the wax in. So after my candles have melted, I like to pour them in a container that makes it easy to pour into the bowl. Um, and it also helps the wax to cool down a bit because if you pour it too hot, that causes pitting. So this way, it kind of cools down and I can pour it without, you know, dripping wax everywhere. So like I said, this particular bowl is going to take two of these candles because the wax inside of these are whipped or it's whipped so you don't get as much as you think you are so here I am pouring slowly so I don't get any air bubbles or anything and like I said the wax has cooled down and where you pour is where you want to leave it meaning make sure you put your bowl somewhere where you're not gonna move it and shift it around once you pour the wax so it'll stay neat and even so here I'm pouring it in and uh, I'm not filling it all the way to the top, just probably three-fourths of the way so that you'll get a really nice um, level top, if you will. <laughs> And here is a thrifted candle that I bought that has a pumpkin pecan scent. I got it from uh, my local thrift store for eight bucks. And what I did was break it up and crumble it up and add it to my hot wax to actually add some scent and color. Um, if you don't want just a uh, unscented clear wax, this is a great way to upcycle and recycle candles and um add some color I just dropped it on my tile floor cracked it up a little bit and mixed the wax into or the bits into the hot wax and here is my finished product with just the plain white wax in the dough bowl that we created um, first and here is another um, handheld dough bowl or snack bowl <laughs> and then here it is with the melted um, recycled candle in it I love this beautiful amber color and here are all of them together I love this um, you know DIY so if you make it let me know and uh, tell me what you think about it and if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell and share the video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video bye guys